Hey, Topping Airlines Math Industry, and we are going to be building a polynomial. So, we've been learning about polynomials in the past, and they could get really big in terms of expressions and the number of terms. So what we're going to do is you see these three coordinates, these could be coordinated on a graph, an xy graph. But we're going to see what a polynomial would look like that would strike through these three things, or these three coordinates. So what we have to do is transform them, transform them into factors, which are the opposite. So, for this one, we're going to say x plus 5, the opposite of negative 5. This one is going to be x minus 5. And this one is going to represent x minus 3. So, here is what we're going to do. We have to FOIL it twice. So, we have to multiply this and that once, then multiply what we get to that. I'm going to color code it. So, the first thing we have to do is multiply these two factors, then bring it all the way down to here. Let's do the math. So, what kind of thing would it help us with? So, we have x and x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. 5 times x is going to be 5x, positive. And 5 and negative 5 is going to be neg negative 25. Okay, so the b's cancel out because we have a negative 5 and a 5. So we get x squared minus by 25. What about the next one? So the next one we're going to do is we have to still multiply it and FOIL it one more time. So, we're going to grab this factor and grab that factor. And then, write our final answer below. So, here's what's going to happen. We have to multiply this by that. So, here is what we're going to do. We are going to multiply x squared times x is going to be x to the power of 3. Then, we are going to do negative 25 times x is going to be negative 25 x. Then, we have to do x squared and negative 3. We get negative 3 x squared. And last but not least, we are going to do negative 25 and negative 3. That is going to bring us to positive 75. So, yeah, we are done. We have built our polynomial. This answer right down here is going to be the polynomial that if you were to graph this on an xy plane or an xy graph, it would strike through these three x-intercepts or these three zeros. I hope this video has helped you understand how to build a polynomial. Thank you for watching Taoping Airlines Math Industry. Like and subscribe.